Hello, magandang araw mga bata. Ito naman ang topic natin ngayon. The least common multiple or the LCM. Finding the LCM of 2 to 4 number using continuous division. Okay, let us define first the least common multiple. The LCM, it is the smallest multiple which is common in the given numbers. Okay. Step on finding the LCM using continuous division. The step 1, write the number horizontally. Step 2, find the numbers that can divide. Step 3, divide the numbers by the prime numbers and write the quotient below. Step 4, continue the process until no other prime numbers is common. Then the last step, multiply the common divisors and the rest of the quotients. So kung napapansin nyo mga bata, parehas lang ng step ng GCF ang LCM. Kung magkaiba lang sa last part, multiply na sa LCM ang common divisor kasama yung the rest of the quotients. Okay, papakita ko kung paano ah. Okay, I'm going to give you an example. To find the LCM using the continuous division. Example number 1. Find the least common multiple of 12 and 18. So, same process yung solution. Susulat natin sila horizontally. Then, divide natin. Hanap tayo ng prime number. So, 12, anong uh, number? Ang pwede natin i-divide sa 12 and 18. 2. 12 divide 2 is equal to 6. 18 divided 2 is equal to 9. So, isip ulit tayo ng number na pwedeng i-divide sa 6 and 9. So, anong prime number? 3. Yan. 6 divided 3 is equal to 2. Then, 9 divided 3 is equal to 3. So, stop na. Wala, wala na siyang common uh, multiple na pwede natin siyang i-divide. So, to get the LCM, ganito lang ang gagawin. Kunin mo yung common factor ng divisors at ng quotient. Ipagsasama lang at multiply lang natin. Yung divisors yung nandun sa gilid at yung quotient yung nasa baba o yung sinasabi nating remainders. So, 2 times 3 times 2 times 3. So, lahat yan multiply mo. So, paano ang pagmultiply para makuha natin yung least common multiple? Multiple. 2 times 3 equal to 6. Tapos, yung sagot doon times muli ng 2 is equal to 12. Then, yung 12, yung sagot times muli ng 3 is equal to 36. So, tuloy-tuloy lang yung multiply. Yung multiply lahat ng uh, divisor at quotient, makukuha mo na yung LCM. So, yung sagot doon ay 36. So, the LCM of 12 and 18 is 36. Diba? Dali lang mga bata, diba? So, magbigay uli ako ng another example. Example number 2. Find the least common multiple of 24 and 36. So, ito yung solution. I-divide natin. Siyempre, susulat muna ng horizontally yung given number. 24 and 36. So, hanap tayo ng prime number na pwede natin i-divide. So, 2. 24 divided 2 is equal to 12. 36 divided 2 is equal to 18. So, pwede pa natin siyang i-divide, di ba? Yung 12 at saka 18 sa prime number. So, ilagay natin 2. 12 divided 2 is equal to 6. 18 divided 2 is equal to 9. So, may common factor pa rin yung 9 at saka lang 6. So, pwede natin siyang i-divide sa 3. Yan. Na 6 divided 3 is equal to 2. 9 divided 3 is equal to 3. So, stop na dyan dahil wala na siyang common multiple yung 2 at saka 3. So, kukunin na natin ang LCM niya. Kunin mo yung divisors at saka yung quotients. Yan. Ipagsasama lang at multiply lahat. 2 times 2 times 3 at times 2 times 
3. So, lahat yan, kapag na-multiply mo, lahat yung number na yan ng common factor niya, yung divisor at saka yung quotient, makukuha na natin ang LCM o yung the least common multiple niya. So, ang sagot dyan ay 72. So, the LCM of 24 and 36 is 72. Dali lang, di ba? Going to give you another example, number 3. Find the LCM of 12, 18, and 54. Yan, tatlong number na siya. Ito yung solution. Here, susulat natin horizontally at i-divide. Hanap tayo ng prime number na common sa 12, sa 18, at 12, 54. So, pwede natin siyang i-divide sa 2. 12 divided 2 is equal to 6. 18 divided 2 is equal to 9. 54 divided 2 is equal to 27. So, ano kayang common factor ng 6, 9, at saka 27? So, hanap tayo uli ng prime number na pwedeng i-divide. So, pwede siya sa number 3. Yes. 6 divided 3 is equal to 2. 27 divided 3 is equal to uh, 9 divided 3 is equal to 3. 27 divided 3 is equal to 9. So, wala ng common uh, factor ang 2, 3, and 9. So, pwede ka nang stop dyan. Then, i-multiply mo na lahat ng divisors at ng quotient para makuha yung LCM. Huwag kakalimutan kasama yung nasa baba. So, kapag multiply natin 2 times 3, Tapos, yung nasa baba, times 2 times 3 times 9. So, kapag may multiply mo lahat yan, yung common factor na yan, makukuha mo na yung least common multiple. So, ang least common multiple ng 12, 18, 54 ay 324. Okay? Next. Na example number 4. Find the LCM of 36. 60, 84, and 120. Four numbers na to. Madali lang, di ba, mga bata? So, ito yung solution. Ulit, uh, i-write natin siya horizontally. Then, find tayo ng, hanap tayo ng prime number na pwedeng i-divide. Yun, 2. two uh, 36 divide 2 is equal to 18. 60 divide 2 is equal to 30. 84 divide 2 is equal to 42. 120 divide 2 is equal to 60. So, ano po tayo ng prime number na pwedeng i-divide sa 18, sa 30, sa 42, at 60. Yan. So, kapag i-divide natin uli siya sa 2. 18 divide 2, kasi yun ang common factor ni Lies, equal to 9. 30 divide 2 is equal to 15. 42 divide 2 is equal to 21. 60 divide 2 is equal to 30. So, ano po li tayo ng number na common sa 9, 15, 21, 30 na pwede natin siyang i-divide yung prime number, di ba? So, pwede natin siyang i-divide sa 3. 9 divide 3 is equal to 3. 15 divide 3 is equal to 5. 21 divide 3 is equal to 7. 30 divide 3 is equal to 10. So, wala ng common factor yung 3, 5, 7, and 10. Kaya, stop na. So, kukunin na natin ang least common multiple niya. So, imumultiply natin, imumultiply natin ang uh, divisors at saka yung quotient nasa baba. So, 2 times 2 times 3 times, yun nasa baba, kunin mo, 3 times 5 times 7 times 10. So, lahat ng mahabang yan, pag pinagsama-sama mo, yan ay tinatawag natin least common multiple. Yan ang magiging least common multiple. So, multiply mo lang 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5 times 7 times 10. Then, ang magiging sagot ay 12,600. So, ang least common multiple ng 36, 60, 84, at 120 ay 
12,600. Okay, kaya na ba mga bata? Okay. Magsimulan na ninyo sagot sagutin ang inyong module at worksheet. Okay, bye-bye hanggang sa muli.